The Lagos State Government says the proposed uh, fourth mainland bridge will make room for expansion, curb gridlock and bring development to neighboring states. The special advisor on works and infrastructure to the governor, Arami Diadioye, said this at a stakeholders meeting with some uh, boundary communities in Lagos and Ogun State. Plus TV correspondent Lavi Kukuyodoku completes the story. This meeting, which is the 15th edition, took place in Isheri Estate, Ogun State. It is in continuation of the Environmental and Social Impact Assessment, EIA, on areas where the proposed fourth Milan Bridge transverses. The Special Advisor on Works and Infrastructure, Aramide Adeoye, who was represented by the Project Director in the Ministry, Tokumbo Ajanaku, told the stakeholders that government is committed to the state transportation master plan. He urged them to take ownership of the proposed project from commencement to completion. The Lagos infrastructure project consisted of five projects. The Etiosa Leki Ekwe Expressway, the Regional Road, the Coastal Road, the Southern Bypass, and the fifth one and the largest, the Lagos Fort Mainland Bridge. Since 2001, the Lagos State Government has initiated the process for the delivery of these projects. Responding to questions from stakeholders, Adioyoyi highlighted the technical details of the alignment on the corridor and listed numerous benefits of the proposed bridge. As of today, we have an all-inclusive 120 meter right of way in cross section, but there are some areas like the toll areas, which is what engineer Afolabi Oladuni explained, that at the toll areas, it will be expanded. Adebala Oyedeji is the financial secretary in Sherry Community. Like other stakeholders, he is concerned about the environmental impact of the project. With regards to Fort Mainland Bridge, I didn't hear anything about speedway uh, rail system. Is that going to be part of it? And if it's not part of it, I appeal to the government. It's something we need to consider. For people to believe more on what the, the, the outlook, what we want to see, actually, that those geoverference map they've been able to do, they should translate to a 3D picture where we see the drone view of what from where we are start the st starting point, the ending point, and all the axes. Afolabi Oladuni is the project consultant. He assured that the people who are the ultimate end users will be carried along through a transparent process. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.